Hi Aries, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and to your love read. Let's see Aries, how you're feeling now, how your person is feeling and what action we can expect in this connection. And yes Aries, these are general collective readings, will not resonate with all of you. Please keep that in mind. Take what works for you, leave the rest. So let's begin. Welcome back all my subscribers and welcome in newcomers and newcomers i'm setting down two sets of cards here one side will be for you one side will be for your person and in the center i'm going to have your dialogue message cards mutual energies etc if this is your reading uh, aries you'll know which side you resonate best with right for me this is going to be person a this is going to be person b bottom of my deck the moon card in reverse some sense of clarity I think both of you have at the moment I, um, I do feel um, somebody is very frustrated very angry very frustrated they feel their person is just not on the same page with them is angry with them is upset with them has cut them out of their life um, doesn't trust them so there's a sense of frustration and anger here the other person says yeah there was no there was no partnership here there was no equal give and take. I'm busy healing myself. So let's see. Let's see what's going on here, Aries. I'm going to take another, uh, take some dialogue message cards first. Let's see if you guys could say something to each other, what that would be. And then I'm going to clarify these cards. Aries and their person spirit. If they could say something to each other now, what would that be? Aries and their person if they could say something to each other thank you i'm going to take a few more aries from another deck and if any of you are looking for personal readings my email is in the description box below you can reach me there aries and their person spirit aries and their person okay just a few more aries from a third deck as well and then we'll start your reading Aries and that person okay good to go Aries let's start your reading the first card here says my answer will be I do okay so somebody has been waiting for the other person to come and you know chase after them or uh, open up to them saying hey if you come to me I'll say yes but I think the frustration is that they're realizing that, uh, well, that person's not coming back. Every song I hear reminds me of you. All those secrets I kept caught up with me, each and every last one of them. I regret my past mistakes and I wish I can have another chance with you. I hope you'll find forgiveness in your heart for me. I wish you can understand that this was a difficult decision for me. In fact, I still struggle with it. I may not be good enough for you. You seem to have high standards. Missing you so much. We truly did have something special. I was thinking of you last night. I kept those text messages. I want to regain your trust. I keep looking up at the stars, hoping you're looking at them at the same time that I do. I'm happy for you. No one else comes close to all the good things you've done for me. I know I'm the one to blame. I need security. All right, Aries. Uh, well, these were some of your messages. If these were resonating with you, let's start your reading. But first, we're going to, of course, take our angel blessing card. Let's see what my angels have for you today as a blessing, guidance, advice, or a message for Aries. 
And the card I have here for you, Aries, is optimism. <laughs> well, somebody here wa was very optimistic. I feel I think they're losing that because uh, whatever they were hoping for hasn't happened till now. There is a sense of frustration, acute frustration, because I think they were hoping for their person to chase them. But that hasn't happened. So I'm starting with the energy of person A, then we'll move on to person B, okay? Then we'll do the action cards. And uh, newcomers, I don't know which side you're on, whether you're a man or a woman or which side the man, woman are. I could be reading for the same sex couple. So these are two souls energetically connected. What's the most likely action they'll take towards each other? And uh, well, that's it. If this is your reading, you'll know which side you're on. So person A, let's start with you in your feelings. Queen of Swords in reverse. What's that all about? Queen of Swords. Okay, one more. Okay. They feel frustrated because something came out in the open. Something came out in the open. This Queen of Swords, they feel they, they feel that their person is will never trust them again. Doesn't want to be, you know, in sitting in a confusing connection or they've gotten themselves out of the equation. They feel that uh, this their person has put an ending to some situation with them totally. It's like, it's over. They feel that person feels it's over because of something that they got to know. So Knight of Swords in reverse. Knight of Swords in reverse. Yeah, Somebody is very frustrated now, very angry, very frustrated because the communication has stopped. There's no communication, there's stagnancy and they feel uh, that they feel that the, it was their person who made that choice and cut them out. Yep, maybe, maybe they feel, maybe there was some cheating, lying behavior that happened, came out in the open. And now they're frustrated because they feel uh, their person got to know the truth about them. They're feeling very imbalanced, very, very imbalanced. Why? Tell me, what's the temperance card? Why are you feeling this way? They feel none of their dreams or wishes will ever come true now. Things are totally out of balance. I think this person was hoping and wishing that uh, sooner or later the fight would end. This connection would revive and forward movement could happen again, right? What's the judgment card? Judgment. It didn't happen. Now they're sitting in, uh, they were hoping for, maybe thinking that with time the fight will end. Um, but now they're getting impatient. They feel none of my dreams and wishes are coming true. They're sitting in anxiety, stress, sleepless nights. They were hoping that they would be given a second chance. They were hoping that things would move forward again. But that hasn't happened. Give me one more. Okay, one more. What's the Ace of Cups? This person wants it all. This, this person was secretly wanting it all. They wanted to be able to give receive this big cup of love they they knew that this was a soulmate this was a happily ever after and they were hoping that in time well the universe is just going to revive this connection there will be forward movement and then what happened things are still stagnant things are stagnant and why yeah because they were they behave like a player they know that they know that the, the anger frustration uh, maybe this person is even now behaving like this out of anger and frustration that you know mm, this is like cutting your nose to spite your face because you are hurting person is hurting very bad very very bad they really thought that this was this was true love and this is going to last forever and i know that sooner or later you know things will come back together but now they are angry because they are now realizing that they've been cut off completely it's over. So how do you feel about your person now? How do you see them? How do you see the connection now, person A? Person A says, they are still angry with me. They are still angry and upset with me, Omkara Taro. Queen of Wands in reverse. Queen of Wands in reverse. Yep, person A feels now, what am I going to do? Now I've lost out. I thought, I thought we were a solid, you know, 
connection and now i feel i've lost my commitment i've lost my happily ever after with them and uh, i was waiting i was standing here waiting at crossroads what were you waiting for that that person who is so nurturing so loving so kind so generous would maybe be the one who would come forward and uh, nurture this connection again all they did was wait Hierophant in reverse. What's the Hierophant in reverse? They feel blocked now. They feel that they feel stuck. They feel blocked. They feel stuck. They feel their person has turned their back. This person is very discontent with life. They don't want any other option. Now they're missing that cup of love that they always knew was supposed to be there forever. And now they're re recognizing, oh my God, it's not. See, I'll show you. Uh, this is how they're seeing the connection now, right? Lost my commitment, lost my Ten of Cups. This is what they felt was always going to be. It's always going to be, we're going to move forward. I'll get a renewal, revival whenever I want. And in, well, anyway. So, what action person A will take, for, I'll open later, Aries, let's move on to the other side and see how person B is feeling now. So person B, you have the six of pentacles in reverse. What's that all about? Six of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, person B has accepted this, right? This is, this contract is over, Omkara Taro. This can't be my soulmate. If they were there, then they never gave me anything. There was no balance. There was no equal give and take. I've, I've accepted it. I've accepted this is not meant to be a partnership. I'm done. In fact, I'm here healing my heart after they broke it. Yeah, they created just conflict and stress and tension and they never even came back to offer me any kind of apology. Right? After breaking my heart, I've been here healing myself. Yes, I've, I've been resting. I've been looking after myself. Mentally, I was hurt. Physically, I was feeling unwell. Emotionally, I was distraught. And it's all because of the heartbreak that I that they caused me. And they never even came to explain themselves or apologize to me. So, well, I decided I'm going to heal myself. Why do you feel this way, person B? High Priestess in Reverse. I think person B soon realized that uh, they were being taken for granted. They felt that, you know, my person is taking me for granted. They're not even apologizing. They, they just expect what they expect and they don't ever make the first move to offer me anything concrete. So, well, I'm drained out. I have nothing left to give them anymore. And when that realization happened, I think, uh, Aries, person B went into their own healing. They just took a step back and said, I'm going to start healing myself now. I am I mean, I have to replenish myself since they are not coming forward to, you know, even, even with a little cup, even a page of cups was not given to them. Four of swords. Four of swords. I think person B for a long time did wait. Yeah, they did wait, but uh, they stopped chasing. I think they waited for person A to level up or, you know, to come back and offer them something or take responsibility. Uh, no, I think person B in that much time, I think, started to realize their worth, realize that, hey, I'm free, I'm single, I'm beautiful. I have now become the empress of my own life. I'm not going to chase anyone. In fact, I'm going to take a leap of faith and keep it moving onwards, which is not what I think person A was expecting. Okay, so person B, tell me, how do you feel about the connection now? How do you feel about person A? Ten of swords in reverse, total ending, according to person B. Ten of pentacles in reverse, nothing to look forward to because there's nothing on offer. There's no marriage or no long-term partnership. I've been betrayed. They left me, they left me, just left me. And uh, yes, I'm not going to give them a second chance now after the way they treated me. Ten of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, person B feels that this was just a karmic soulmate or a toxic uh, connection. It's better that I release all this because this is not going to... Uh, they feel that person is not the person who's, who they're going to end up with now because this was just turning more and more toxic instead of getting better. 
they they feel that their person who they did admire at one time who was their wish come true or maybe one second yeah yeah i think for i think for a while person b did did wish for person a they probably saw person a as somebody handsome or dynamic or somebody at their level but they were waiting they were wishing that this person person a will take action and show them prove to them but there was no victory so from what i am feeling here person a is frustrated and angry because they thought that maybe as always uh person a uh, person that's what person a said that my person is so loving and so generous and so kind i'm sure, sure sooner or later they are going to return back i'll just sit and wait and i can do my thing till then now they're coming to the realization that i was i just kept waiting and i've been cut off so they are angry because of that person b says i'm done i was waiting for them to take action and prove to me that you know they really wanted me or they really loved me but they haven't even come with an apology so i am releasing this connection that's what's going on so let's see what actions you guys will take aries i'm going to take another deck for this one and as always request you to tap that like button for me please helps the videos to circulate makes me feel good thank you and newcomers and repeating viewers the ones who haven't subscribed already uh, all you have to do is tap the subscribe button and become part of our omkara family we welcome you in all right so person a let's start with you action from your end towards person b or otherwise justice in reverse okay so do you want to make wrongs right are you realizing that you've done wrong person a What's the justice in reverse? Eight of Wands, Ace of Wands, the Tower, Queen of Swords. This person does want to communicate. They want to communicate. They may communicate out of the blue, even though they are a little intimidated. They're a bit scared of uh, facing person B, but uh, they. could suddenly come up yeah because they are now realizing that without person b in their life none of their wishes will come true they know that person b still makes them incredibly happy so somebody wants to come and reveal something that was the overall energy right so this person does want to communicate it could be sudden communication coming in am i right person a give me three more Yes, the emperor. <laughs> All right, emperor, five of wands, and the judgment. Yes, they're coming to fight for this connection. Finally, I think this person has been trying, going back and forth, getting cold feet. I'm glad that was the last reading. They wanted to see you face face to face. That was the previous reading. Now that they've realized that if I don't do it, it's not going to happen. I think uh, this was a lesson for them to take some action I guess. Yes this person uh, wants to come back as an emperor. They want to fight for this connection so that some revival can happen. They they thought it would happen on on its own. They thought if I just sit here and be my selfish person that I am, I'm going to they're going to come and revive it with me. Now that realization has struck them like a lightning bolt that this queen of swords is not going to budge. they may just come and fight for having this revival because they are ready they are ready they're sitting in their emperor's throne as well okay person b what about you will you take any action towards person a or otherwise ah uh, nine of wands in reverse person b says stop asking me that omkara taro i'm exhausted i'm tired i've kind of given up on this connection because i tried so many times and nothing happens so i'm not going to take any action because i'm i'm exhausted of this you know ongoing cycle which i want to end now right person b king of swords 
six of wands and seven of wands person b yeah person b says all right all right if they want to talk it's okay i am willing to listen to them it will actually give me a sense of closure maybe victory or something but uh, well i will decide i will decide i may take them back i may not that's a decision i will make right now i've got my boundaries up yes if they come and talk to me it will actually make me feel good that uh, i don't think person b will be taking action but they they would be open to listen but they're going to keep their boundaries up uh, person a is going through a shocker right now when they're realizing that their you know not moving is not going to change anything and well they just may from what i'm seeing this person is they are realizing they're going to lose everything if they don't they have to uh, well take charge <laughs> all right so that's what i have for you aries till next time then love and light take care namaste